Hello everyone and welcome back to a new video here on Let's Walk Around Stockholm. Another day, another walk, you know it. Downtown Stockholm, it is Saturday the 10th of February. It's a nice and chilly afternoon here in as downtown Stockholm you can get. You probably have guessed it. We are on Drottninggatan, yes. Queen Street, the main shopping street here in downtown Stockholm. And um, yeah, it's very busy. Everyone's on the shopping spray. It's always pretty busy here, but on a Saturday, especially in the afternoon, it gets really crowded. People walking up and down, doing some shopping. And it's also just before, um, what's it called? It's also just before Valentine's Day. So I guess it's a bit extra busy. All the people buying stuff for their loved ones. If you're into that. Well, that's if you have loved ones, would not, which not everyone has, unfortunately. Me, I'm just walking around here as usual. You know the drill. And I think the plan is maybe to go to Kungstagården today. Let's see. Over there, I've noticed there's a new chain of uh, electronic stores. It's called Power. I think a lot of people know Media Market. Media Market, it's like a German chain, I believe. And I think they left Sweden and in return, Power came. So, yeah. Never been there. To be honest, I'm not a big fan of the name either. Power is a bit of a boring name. But anyway, all good. There's not so much snow here in the main street because it's always a bit warmer downtown than it is in the suburbs, right? I've said this before. Ooh, the candy store. We've got Dressmon. That's actually one of my favorite stores. They have a lot of cheap, basic clothes. Just you know, like pants and shirts and stuff like that for like very affordable prices. That sounds like an advertisement, but it's not. I actually get this question sometimes. Why do you never do any like sponsored posts and things like this? Because I have quite a few subscribers. Uh, well, well, first of all, it doesn't happen so often. I get contested by contacted by companies. Um, it does happen occasionally, but it doesn't always feel right. Like if I promote something, I want it to be something I actually stand for as well. You know, just not like random, I don't know, some kind of gambling company or something. So, yeah, if you're a company and you have something to do with Sweden or Stockholm or anything that would fit my channel, you're more than welcome to send me an email. I'm, I'm not against it at all. It just has to be... Uh, you know, a good fit, that's all. Like for example, DJI camera, the one, the camera I'm using, I'm a big fan, right? So, something like that. All right, where am I going? Oh, there's a hot dog stand here. It's really weird. This is like the only hot dog stand in Stockholm that doesn't have a vegetarian option. Oh, they do nowadays. Wait, this is new. Here. Oh. I was here actually a few years back and then he was like, no, 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 I don't have it. I was like, boo. So this is the entrance of Stockholm city, central station, T central and both. Loyal viewers probably know City is the train, T Central and is the, the metro, but they're basically both you know in the same building. You've got Orleans, the department store. It's probably like the biggest, not the biggest, the busiest store in downtown. I actually did a little walk through the station uh, the store here, I think last year. Oh, it's a bit calmer here, perfect. 
So we got Sergo Story over there. We got Kungstar Gordon over there, and I think we should go there in a minute. But maybe, you know what? I first go that way, and then we go past the church over there, and then we go around the corner, around the block, and then make our way back here to downtown. Well, we are still downtown. So, Chat Kang, what's up, folks? How's everyone doing? Um, I hope you enjoyed my Björk Hagen video. Had a bit less views than normally, but it's also because I did it on the same day upload. That's not really a good idea. It's way better if I upload a day in advance and I schedule the upload. I get a lot more views because, um, you know, I used to, um, I used to upload every day, and but because I don't, people maybe not check every day. So I need to give them a bit of a, you know, heads up in advance. Right, System Bologet, which is the government owned alcohol store. In Sweden, you can only buy alcohol which is over 3.5%, so it's basically almost everything in a so called government owned chain of stores, which is called System Bologet. You cannot buy it anywhere else, so it's all government owned. Um, which means it's pretty expensive, but um, yeah, that's just the way it is. I guess most people are used to it here. Um, there's only one problem, it's closed on Sundays and it closes on Saturday at 3 p.m. So after that, you can't really get any, can't get any alcohol. So here we got the church, let's go in here. That's pretty cool. Do -do 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 -do. Well, suddenly it's really quiet and peaceful here. Some big trees. Claude Ashurkan. Last time I was with um, walking with Olaf, we pointed this church out. Right. See, here you can see there's actually still snow. There was falling quite a bit of snow, fresh snow, like the day before yesterday. But in the main street, you know how it is. A lot of people, higher temperature, pollution causes the snow to melt in the main streets. Right, let's go in here. Up, oh, hoppa! <laughs> it says on that sign. It means up, oh, hoppa. It basically means go up and jump. <laughs> well, I think they just basically mean let's let's get this party started. Let's get let's keep going, you know. Or let get going, maybe. It's a better way of. Uh... Oh, look at this building here. Nice. So let's circle back to Sergel Story, which a lot of people in Stockholm actually call Plattan. It's almost like, you know, the flat, the flat square, the flat space. Platt is like flat, um, and it's a very good meeting point for a lot of people. So instead of meeting at Central Station, which can be a bit confusing because there's many different exits and things like this, a lot of people just say, oh, let's meet on the square. Oh, this looks really nice, actually, with the silver and... Nice. Okay, I'm not actually sure. It's probably a really stupid question. What does this sign mean? I have a brain freeze, so tell me. Oh, it's funny, it says under Refugees Welcome. That's nice. It's all about the love, people. <laughs> oh. 
All right, we're back on Drobnigo Tom. Now we're back at it from the other side. It's quite funny here, you can see the snow when no one's walking and no snow at all. It's almost like two different seasons. But it is actually pretty cold, I can feel it as well on my hands and my face. It's a bit windy, you probably can tell. Yeah, but let's let's go into the square here and check it out. Oh, it's fun! It says a big sign there. It says free books. Free books. That's always good. Free stuff. Oh, actually, I saw this on the internet on Instagram. There's an account, that, and I think it's called Poor Sago Story. It means something like you know. On Sergal's story, <laughs> you know what I mean. But anyway, I see pigeon over there, and that pigeon I saw in this Instagram thing. So I don't really know what it's about. I guess it's just some art exhibition thing. Speaking about art, this is the city theater. So maybe here something to do with it. Let's have a look. Oh, there's a little sign. Oh, there's there's more things over there. Let's have a look. Platan duva. So yeah, it is some art thing. It's a fashion and fashion in Stockholm. Ah, that's nice. So the pigeons are a symbol of Platan because the local residents of the of the square are the pigeons. So that's basically what it's about. And there's always lots of pigeons here. And the funny thing is, I always see pigeons here except for today. Probably the big one is <laughs> is carrying away all the other pigeons. That would be funny. Look but don't touch, it says. All right, let's go up the stairs. So I can have a big overview here. Quite funny that you always see pigeons except for today. It must be so somewhere and it must be hiding. Irony. So quite a bit of people here as well today. Let's check this out. Nice, this looks the lights here look really nice here in winter in the dark. So here we've got the fountain, which is of course not active when it's minus degrees in winter. Um, yeah, let's go this way. Now let's go to Kungster Gordon. I can really tell it's the weekend. I'm not here that often on Saturday afternoons, so or for me it's like, ah, people, why so busy? We could go into the mall. Actually, no, let's not go into Galleria. I'm tired of malls, really. I think malls have zero personality. Like, if I go into the mall, the thing is, this channel is called Let's Walk Around Stockholm, right? So, but when I, I get into a mall, it feels like it could be, the channel could be called Let's Walk Around Any Random Place in the World. A mall in Dubai, a mall in Moscow, a mall in New Zealand, a mall in South Africa. They literally all look the same. It's such a shame. It's always the same concept. There's like a food court, there's the big chains, there's all the fast food restaurants, there's... It's just the same. 
And because the rent is so high, only those international big chains can actually afford to rent a store there. So all the fun, good, little, family-owned stores, they're never in a mall, so... Yeah, you get my point. It was a bit of a rant, a mall rant, sorry folks. I mean, don't get me wrong, it can be fun to go with the family to a mall. Um, but... Not so much for a walking channel. Well, they're developing this building. See, they're rebuilding it. It says Hest School Palazzet, the Horseshoe Palace. Här utvecklar Vasa Kronan framtidens kontorhandel. Okay, so they're basically rebuilding um, this place with a lot of new office space and stores and things like this. It's really busy here, trying to make my way through. So funny, everyone crossing the red light, look. to this side. Oh, churros. Spanish desserts. I don't think people buy it really as a dessert, more as a snack, whatever. Melis, as we call it in Swedish. That's actually a really good word of the day. Uh, by the way, I know I've been horrible with the word of the day. I haven't done it in like ages, but... Mellis, it's like short for melan mål. And mela means in between, or like medium. And uh, mål is like a meal. So melan mål is like an in-between meal, which is basically a snack. So... Um, let's say when you got the three main meals, right? Breakfast, lunch and dinner, traditionally. Like, sometimes it can take quite a few hours before, you know, you can have lunch or something. And in school they do this as well, so they have a melon mall, a little snack in between. Um, so let's say if you have breakfast at 8 and lunch at 1, somewhere in between, around 10, you have a little snack. Could be a fruit, a banana or whatever you want to want it to be and same thing goes in the afternoon so in school they usually have two of those uh, snack meals can be like a little sandwich with cheese on it or oh. by the way the Christmas vibes are still strong here <laughs> this is funny oh, wow check this out oh this is cool Look, there's some exhibition of some animals here. This is a rooster which fell over. <laughs> what do we got here? I'm actually quite surprised that the ice rink is still here. A monkey. <laughs> unicorn, I believe, maybe. What's this, folks? Is this a unicorn? Not sure. Okay, I did not expect the ice rink still to be here, but um, cool, let's have a look. Some kind of futuristic snake or whatever. 
Nice. All the Christmas trees are still here. <laughs> it's quite funny. I'm still getting Christmas vibes. It's like almost March here. <laughs> uh. Oh, but there's copyright music here. So let's not get too close to the ice rink. Had the same problem last year. <laughs> let's go here. Do, do, do. Stockholm Stad, yes. So there you can rent some skates. I'll probably buy like hot chocolate and stuff, it's quite nice. It's quite a touristy thing to do, there's a lot of tourists. Um, also going here, which is a massive pile of snow. They have this every year. So all the snow from Kungster Gordon, they collect it. And um, you see a lot of tourists like, you know, sitting behind there and taking pictures here. It's like, oh, sending it to their family. Oh, I'm in Sweden, there's mountains of snow here. Because this mountain is here from like November to probably April because it doesn't melt away when there's three days of plus right it has to be really like plus 15 <laughs> otherwise it doesn't melt got the big stage here yeah I'm almost feeling like singing jingle bells when I see this this is funny The cafe cruiser. Oh, they get a big display for cars. <laughs> it says here, hot chocolate is happiness you can drink. Uh, yes, kind of. Ooh, it's nice. Ooh, let's warm my hands a bit. Very nice. Oh, this is good. I know what you're thinking, Daniel. Wear your damn mittens. Yeah, sorry, folks. I keep forgetting them. This is a bad year for... Definitely a bad year for mittens. All right, let's go here. And that's about it, maybe. Maybe I can just go a little bit in there. Let's have a look. Why not? We're here, we might as well. Do, 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 do. There's so many Christmas trees here. What's the dealio? Um, oh, this is funny. I actually didn't know that. This street is called Kungstregårdsgatan. So if you want to learn Swedish, this is a good word to learn. This is a good word to learn. It has all the funny parts of Swedish language. Kungstradgårdsgatan. Kungstradgårdsgatan. I don't know if you hear, but once I switch over to Swedish, my voice goes up and down a little bit. It's like the melody of Swedish, uh, which can be a bit tricky to learn if you're new to the language. Um, I've been here for many years, so I, I, I got the, the hang of it, but it takes a while. Because it goes uh, 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 like that, you know? Like, for example, when you say Jaha in Swedish, you go Jaha! You know, it's like almost a bit over the top. Um, yeah, and that's something you need to learn. Um, because in English, you don't really have that. And especially not in Dutch, which is my uh, native language. So, yeah. I'm still planning, um, so I'm still planning to do a video with a Swedish lady um, who's actually a teacher in Swedish. She lives in the UK, and sometimes she comes to um, to Sweden. And we are planning at some point to do a video together, and we'll probably do the video about Swedish. So, she's actually writing books about Swedish and how to learn Swedish and things like this. And she speaks perfect English, of course, as well. So, I was thinking we could talk about the Swedish language and have more of a theme. Um, because I know there's many of you that want to learn Swedish, are interested in Swedish and things like this. So, this should be fun. Um, 
yeah so that that's coming up at some point this year i think she first has to be in sweden because she lives in london i believe let's go to the park we've got the china theater over there and here we've got uh is this cafe opera oh, no burns it is i think yes it's a bit of a posh place you know it's one of those bars restaurant clubs which um it's not really my crowd it's a bit posh and there's a you know there's a dress code to get in and all the kind of stuff it's expensive as well so it's not really my type of place but if you're into the type of place where you want to be seen and look at other fancy people then that's, you can go in there and party but personally I wouldn't even go there if they would offer me money but yeah Because for me, a place to go out should be a place of relaxing. And once you feel that there's some kind of judgment in the way you look, the way you wear, the way you, you know, then, then for me, it's not a relaxing activity. And then I'm already not interested. Now, if you go to a place and you're not sure if you get in, for me, it's a no already. Because that's the type of stress I don't want when it's Friday night and I just want to have a drink. If that makes any sense, but yeah. A lot of people love that anyway, so. I think it's a status thing as well. I think every big city in, in, in the world has that. You have certain places downtown or popular areas where it's all about being seen and looking at other people and showing off what you got and stuff like that so all right so now we're back here at um, Normam's toy which is actually a good place to round up the video there's a nice little stroll here in downtown Stockholm as always which number are we at? I think it's 648. Something like that. Here we've got Bidutix Gautan, which is um, actually, you know what? Let's go in there. I was like, let's round up the video. Let's, let's not round up the video. Let's continue walking here. <laughs> that was funny. So in this street, you got all the, um, you know, expensive stores here. Oh, you see here the bus store. Um, yeah. So it's basically, this actually really connects nicely to what I was saying before. Um, so the people that go to the fancy places, they buy their clothes in this street, basically. Because this is the most expensive shopping street in the whole of Stockholm. We've got the Rolex store here. Nice. Ooh, I hear a lot of music. Where's that coming from? Okay. What am I hearing? Where is this sound coming from, people? Coming from the left, I believe, eh? No, from the right. Oh, it's a demonstration. 
some political uh, thing. I don't know what it's about, but... Ralph Lauren store. Breitling watches. Ooh, those are expensive. Breitling. Diesel store. I'm more of an H&M guy myself, but yeah. Or even better. The thrift store, second hand. I love a bit of second hand. Jakobs Bijs Gatan, it's called here. Oh, the demonstration is going along there. What time is it actually? Got some more stuff to do today. All right. It's quarter to three in the afternoon here. And now we're actually walking to Östermalm. We've got the Kungliga Biblioteket, the Royal Library over there. A bit further down. I don't know if you can see, but... Feeling a bit cold now. I actually feel like a hot chocolate. But yeah, that's all the way at the back. I should have bought one and filmed it, but yeah. Next time. So yeah, now let's take a left here and go into Kung's Gotan. That was funny. I was like, let's round up the video. No, let's not round up the video. Yeah, on the left there, there's somewhere a metro station. So there I can take, take the tube back home. Well, it's more take the tube to central and there take the, the train, the commuter train. Yes, Kung's Gotan. A bit less people around here. wanted to cross the street but there's a bit too many cars all right let's cross here Oh, you know what? I'm going in here. Which street is this? Norlands Gatan. I'm full of surprises today. Gotta love a little random left or right. So, question to you, chat gang. Let's see if someone's still watching after 35 minutes of me talking rubbish. Or gibberish, or how do you say it? Rubbish, gibberish, jiddish. Oh, that's a language. Anyway, my question is... Any plans coming to Stockholm this year? That's the question from me to you. Let me know in the comment section. Any plans to visit this beautiful place anytime soon? Yay or nay? I'm thinking what to do this summer. I'm going every year to the Czech Republic. You know it. I'm going back this year. Um, there's some other fun stuff happening, but <laughs> not always when I tell you guys things are happening, they're actually happening. Or they do happening, but I somehow don't have any time to film. 
which is um, a bit of a pity. So I'm a bit more careful nowadays in what I promise, if that makes sense. It's like when I said the green line walk, I was like, um, oh, I'm gonna finish the green line <laughs> before September, this summer, I said, or something like that. Well, eight months later and uh, still not done yet, so yeah. But there's another milestone coming up, which is actually really cool. I think it's actually this week. My YouTube channel exists three years. Somewhere in February 2021, I somehow created the YouTube channel. I don't even recall why exactly I did it. Boredom, I guess, pandemic, that kind of stuff. Um, but yeah, so my question to you is, what shall I do for my three years of walking? live stream um, let me know what shall I do maybe a really long walk like three hours or something I don't know maybe get some food get some guests let me let me know I need some inspiration people three years of walking what are we doing I guess we need a guest that's that's quite sure I mean we got to have Olaf of course but besides Olaf we need someone else let me know people My feet is feeling good today. Sometimes I get a little pain in my foot. I uh, left foot, I've told you guys before, but today it's fine. Okay, you know what? I think this is the perfect spot to round up the video. This lovely building. So two things, one, are you coming to Stockholm this year? And two, what am I doing for three years of walking? Don't forget to leave a thumbs up, people. I give you a thumbs up as well. Don't forget to subscribe. And I see you all on the next one. Bye-bye.